Okay, so this is a video about how to set up your grid pad device to control your TV at home. Um, it's quite likely that you might have been sent out a grid pad from us at the Barnsley Assistive Technology team and that we have asked you to enter the remote control signals yourself from your TV remote at home um, so that your grid pad will work with your TV. Um, and I'll just go through the steps of how to do that in this video. Um, it may be that your clinician from the Barnsley Assistive Technology team has um, will ring you up and talk you through this on the phone whilst you're doing it, or it may be that you're happy just to give it a go yourself by watching this video. Um, so first of all, what I would suggest doing is to get your TV remote and to put some new batteries in it. Um, so this will always work better if you've got new batteries in your remote. Um, so that's probably always a good place to start if you can. Um, next, you need your grid pad. And what we need you to do is to go up to the top of the screen and press anywhere along this top end of the screen. It will bring up um, the menu bar down the side and you need to click on the little orange symbol that says edit grid. So that will take you into editing mode for the grid 3 software and that's where we need to be in order to set up your TV control um, with the device. So the page on your, your grid pad may be different to this one. Um, so you need to be on your TV page. Um, so if you have a communication page or a sort of main front page um, then before you go into editing mode, make sure you're, you've moved to your TV page. So your TV page may look like this. It may look completely different. Um, it will likely have lots of cells on it um, to turn your TV on, change your channel, open your guide, navigate around that, um, that kind of thing. Um, but the process will be the same whatever your TV page looks like. So don't worry if yours looks a little bit different to what this one looks like. So first of all, we're going to pick the button that we want to start off setting up. So on this one here, I'm going to go for the power button, which is up at the top here. So I'm just going to select that button there. Now this will bring up a little menu at this side of the screen. Um, and the button that we want to press on is the little red circle that says learn. Um, so I'm going to press on that now. So the first time you do this within the Grid3 software, it will come up with a little message that says you have not yet added any television accessories. Do you want to do this now? So you need to just click on yes. And it will come up with this screen and then just go down to the bottom and select OK. OK, you'll only need to do that once um, for each TV that you set up. So we're going to go back to that power button that I want to set up. And again, we're looking over at this side and we're going to go to the learn button. What that does, that brings up some instructions on the screen um, and that is telling you to get your remote control, line it up with the remote control window, hold down the button and then press it. Um, so what I need to show you now is where the remote control window is and then you'll know where to hold the remote control so with the GridPad 13, which is this device, the remote control window is on the back of the device. So I'm just going to turn this around so hopefully you can see that okay. So I'm just going to show you on the GridPad device where you need to be pointing your TV remote at to record your infrared from your remote control. Um, so if you have a look here on the back of the device, you can see this little white symbol there, which is the headphone symbol. The actual point where you need to be pointing your remote is just above that in this little gap here, so where my finger is there. Okay, um, So you need to be picking your remote up, holding where the infrared comes out on the top of the remote, opposite that little window, probably about an inch or two away, and pressing your button into that area there. When you choose to start recording the infrared on the screen, a little red light will come up in that area there. So I don't know if you can see that little red light there. Um, so that's where you need to be pointing your TV remote um, and holding it into that bit there. 
Um, so that red light just kind of helps you know where it is. Um, it won't be on all the time. That red light will only come on when you've pressed start learning on the screen and it will come on just to guide you where to, to point the infrared, where to point the remote at. Okay, so just going back to the screen here, let's take you back. Um, so when you're ready to record the infrared in on your button, um, as you can see on the screen here, there's something that says start learning. Um, so you kind of need to have everything in the right position and then we can press start learning. Um, so I'm just going to turn the device around again so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to get my remote ready. And I'm going to press start learning on the screen and the button I'm going to record now is the, the power button. So I'm going to be pressing that button down and I'm going to follow the instructions on the screen and keep pressing this button and releasing it until it tells me to stop. So press start learning. I'm going to hold it opposite the IR window and I'm going to follow these instructions on the screen which keeps telling me to press the button and release it press and release it and when you hear that little noise there at the end that means that it's completed and it should tell you on the screen whether it's been successful or not um, quite often it doesn't always record it may be that your batteries are not quite full enough on your remote it may be that you've not quite got the angle quite right or the position of the remote quite right don't worry if it doesn't work you can do it again um, sometimes you have to do it several times to make it work um, and it, that happens to all of us so don't kind of get worried about it not working you can just keep repeating it again and again until it, it works eventually um, you might just want to try putting the remote in a slightly posi different position holding it a bit nearer to the the IR window or a little bit further away or changing the angle of it slightly um, but just Try repeating it a few times um, to see if it works, and it should do. Okay. Um, and then what we will do, it should, um, if you look back at your screen again, um, you're then able to test whether that works or not with your TV. So the button that we just did was the power button. Um, and when you look over on this side here, instead of pressing learn, what we can do is press transmit now. So what you want to do to make sure it's working is sit in front of your TV, have the grid pad um, sort of facing you in the back of it towards the TV and you can press the transmit now button. If it's working then it should turn your TV on or turn your TV off. If it doesn't seem to work what we can do is just record it again and go back through the process again. Um, if it works, brilliant, we've done one button and what we need to do is move on to the next button. Um, so all you would need to do is then choose your next button that you want to record. Um, so we could do the channel up button, select that. And again, you go to your learn button, you get your remote ready. We're going to hold this at the back of the device um, by the IR window. As before, we're going to press learn on there. And we're going to point it at the IR window. Okay, so there's a perfect example of it not picking up the signal quite well. So all you would need to do is click on start learning again and do the same process again. And basically you just keep repeating the process until you've done all the, um, all the buttons on your page. Um, and once you've done that, what we then need to do is come out of editing mode and make sure we've got everything saved into the device. Um, so you want to make sure you've, you've done that to make sure that it's all saved in there. So up in this top corner of the screen here, it says finish editing. So you just want to click on that and it just goes back into normal user mode. Um, and then what you might want to do is just try out the different buttons um, on the screen and check that they work. If any of them come up with an error message, um, you can just go back into editing mode again, record the button again with the remote control, um, and then try it again and, and check that it's working. And that really should work for you and set up your control of your TV from your grid pad device. If you do have any problems um, after you've kind of followed this, this sort of um, video, then certainly give us a ring and we will try and talk you through it on the phone. Um, Smartbox are also available um, on the phone to talk you through any issues as well. Um, so e either Barnsley Assistive Technology Team or, or Smartbox can help at that point. 
and hopefully that will set up your TV control on your device and it will all be working for you.